Uh, well, uh, you see, a number of uh, policies have been done to reactivate the early uh, textile industry and the entire value chain, but it's not working. In fact, the textile intervention was 100 billion, not 70 billion. It was upstand from 70 to 100. And uh, many in, uh, textile industries have benefited from that. Unfortunately, uh, when those funding was provided, a lot of promise were done to, to, uh, uh, to make the textile work so that this textile company can be able to service this uh, loans. But none of those uh, things that were promised by the government uh, uh, materialized. For example, we were promising a, a major uh, problem of textile industry is patronage. And government is a large uh, uh, purchase of, of a textile product. We have the military, we have the relief agencies, but they are not, they are not patronizing the local industries. So that really, uh, 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 the textile company had uh, uh, retooled their manufacturing company, they, they bought, bought new machinery, made another operation, but the products they produce are not being sold because of the uh, cost, uh, uh, push, uh, uh, cost, uh, cost and price competitiveness. Uh, 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 you see, the cost of production becomes so high because we had uh, very high, uh, or, or non absent of uh, uh, electric supply, energy is very expensive. Uh, the LPO we used to, to produce steam to dye our textile products becomes so scarce and very expensive. And uh, uh, the uh, the AGOs, all the vital things become so. Uh, before the intervention of the funding, uh, the textile pro uh, were promised that uh, they are going to enjoy concessionary tariff, uh, power tariff, uh, the energy, gas, and, and LPFOs, uh, but none of them materialized. So I think that uh, that made, uh, and then like the issue of smuggling and the counterfeiting comes. You will say we'll have a very beautiful design of Ankara, for example, from uh, some of the textile company, and then we'll have a, a company in China producing the same design and putting the logo of Nigerian uh, textile company, and then smuggle it back into Nigeria and. And, and, and at very, very uh, lower price because our cost of production here in Nigeria is very high. And uh, like uh, Dr. Ozuma was saying, the uh, issue of SAP in, uh, really uh, 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 also um, contributed a lot in the decline of textile industries because uh, our Naira were devalued and uh, 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 we, unfortunately, we are not importers, we are not exporters, so we, uh, we, uh, uh, we find ourselves using so much Naira to import our raw materials and spears and then machineries. Uh, that uh, add to the cost of our product because we had to pass it to consumer and the consumer buy. So um, actually, uh, the, if we had uh, got uh, the, also the textile garment policy also is current. In fact, there is, uh, the, uh, the Manufacturer Association of Nigeria just recently uh, 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 reviewed the textile garment together with the Minister of Trade, uh, um, uh, 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 Industry Trade and Investment, and it's there lying in the ministry, not implemented. So uh, we had a robust policy. If that policy is implemented, I'm sure the, the turning around of the company will be across the corner. And as, as this problem has been really documented. In fact, there was a research that done was, uh, uh, sponsored by UNIDO, was done by a textile consulting firm, Garzi, which spelled actually the real problem and what needs to be done to, to turn around the portions of uh, this industry, but 
uh, the implementation is not there. So we have a uh, issue of policy, and also we have the issue of death of uh, technical manpower. Uh, the, our, uh, our universities and polytechnics are not producing the right uh, engineers and technologists because they have updated, antiquated uh, uh, training facilities. Because you will say the, the, uh, the, the institution will be using what we call uh, the sh short, uh, shuttle looms. While the era of shuttle looms is far gone, we are now in the shuttle loom. We have the rapier, we have the air jet that uh, operates these machineries. So uh, when the students come out to the industry, they become lost. So uh, 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 those are major problems that really, and the issue of uh, raw material of cotton, because since the textile companies are not selling, they don't have the required working capital to buy the cotton being produced. So at the end of the day, the farmer decided to uh, stop producing cotton and was producing maize and other uh, 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 edible, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, agricultural produce. So, and, and what the, need, the, the industry need not only cotton, we need uh, what we call man made uh, fibers, we need uh, synthetic fibers that are gotten from the petrochemical industries. Unfortunately, our uh, refineries are not working, so we cannot get the, the, the man-made fibers that because they like pol uh, polyester and nylon, because 50% of raw material in textile today around the world, including what I'm wearing, is polyester. So uh, you, 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 you say that uh, cotton alone because it's competing with other agricultural produce. So uh, there's a need to, uh, what we call, establish the core uh, industry, which is the core industry, that means the, the, uh, uh, the petrochemical plant, the um, uh, iron and steel, the iron and steel to be providing spare parts, and also there are local fabricators of machineries also, that will also assist them. And then the petrochemicals can produce raw material for manufacture of polyester, nylon, and other products. And we also have our forest. We can cultivate pine and eucalyptus. The eucalyptus you can use to produce uh, regenerative cellulosic fibers uh, that are the same characteristics with cotton, uh, comfortable. And, and so, uh, in final analysis, I think the only, the real, if we have patronage from the government and individuals, we, if we can, uh, um, I mean, sensitize our individuals to, to work towards the locally produced good, of course, the local, locally produced good is very expensive because uh, we, uh, the cost of doing business is very high. The cost of uh, electricity now had, been, uh, uh, had gone up uh, uh, dramatically. For example, a textile company that is uh, paying 24 million uh, a, a month and now is paying about 90 million. And to pass this cost to the consumer. Uh, okay. Th 